Welcome back, ladies and gents. We are back. Back in the world. Simple as that. Um, I did a ton of enchanting over at our enchanting room over yonder. Still, I don't know. I gotta mix that up a little bit. We'll figure it out, though. We'll figure it out. And as you can see, I've got myself some pretty darn good gear. I got myself a new sword as well, refined obsidian, made my, made that myself. Got some mending, sweeping edge, sharpness five, looting three, unbreaking three, and insight three. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, I tried to get experience boost two on it, and it just wouldn't let me. My bow is still garbage, so I got to have some fun there. And then I decided to make a refined obsidian paxel as well, just as kind of like my third tool for areas that I don't want to use the mining gadget. Um, and this guy, Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, Experience Boost 2, and Reach 3. Beautiful. Pretty darn nice loot, if I do say so myself. That enchanting area has been wonderful. Simply wonderful. Um, but let's get back to some business here. Just a little bit of business. Nothing too crazy. We're not rewriting the world or anything like that. Holy crikey. I don't even need any of this. It's fine. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Um, but no, let's get back to seriousness. And we need to make something right off the hop here. And it's something that's pretty easily made. And we're going to make ourselves the exchanging gadget. Beautiful stuff. All part of building gadgets. Very easy to craft at this stage of the game for us. And we can charge it up like so. Yay. Easy peasy. 500k, pretty darn nice. So what I want to do with this is we need this to exchange blocks. Simple as that. No big deal, right? So let's head on over to here. A couple of things that I did is I put glowstone underneath the trees here, okay? The reason I did that is this is a way for us to hide some lighting to provide just a little bit more safety around our builds. Um, I got to go over and do like this one, right? As you can see, that'd be a great spot for glowstone right there, right? You can throw a little bit in there and out here, etc. Okay, so lots of good potential to just kind of incorporate some glowstone in some of the, in some of the brush that we have. Uh, same thing over here. I should probably come back around and do a little bit of that. So, you know, just the little things as we progress forward here. So that was step number one that I kind of went through. Step number two is I did do a little bit of work down here. And I we got a floor. We got a floor. We also got these fun little simple light bulbs up top to keep it more or less lit up. Right? Upstairs I haven't done too much yet. I did install the doors, which is great. Great step there. And uh, yeah, for the most part, pretty straightforward up here. But down here is where we're going to be working for right now. So we need to exchange things. You shift right click on a block, it makes it the designated block. So I just labeled that as cobblestone. Pretty straightforward, right? And, the, oops, there we go. Okay. And basically what you can do is you can click on blocks. As long as you have cobblestone in your inventory, you can utilize it accordingly pretty darn nice right i think so i think it's really easy and as you can see really doesn't use much for you know uh power or anything like that we've only used a little over a thousand um 1.8 or yeah yeah 1800 1800 is the number now equally speaking there is stuff in here building gadgets here we go um, a lot of different things that we can do. So, R, hmm, let's try R, I'm not sure. Okay, tool range of three. Aha, so now we can exchange out a three by three. So I can click like that, and boom, 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 it's exchanging out a much larger area. That is fabulous, absolutely fabulous. This is going to make a lot quicker work for you know, some of this stuff as we, as we need it. Why is it not letting me do that block? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're out of cobble anyways. 
But yeah, so we can quickly exchange out the walls that you see here to a different block, right? Over here, we can kind of just come in like so. This guy's got to go. And yeah, we're slowly but surely making it cobblestone, okay? Again, we're not talking anything super futuristic or, you know, super complex with this build. It's pretty straightforward. We're not rewriting the world in terms of some of the things we do, right? But this gadget is definitely helping us build the item, the desire that I want, okay? So boom, and let's finish exchanging out the rest here. Okay, good, 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 good. I can't believe it's not letting me do that one. Hmm. Anyways, it's because the torch is there, I think. So on top of that is we have grass up here, but I do want to exchange out that as well as I want this to pretty much be all cobble, all cobblestone walls, okay? And I agreed, cobble's not that nice. Don't get me wrong. We know, we know, we're well aware, okay? But you know what? It's nice enough. It's nice enough for what we're going with, okay? Um, boom. And it really does suit the build. And you guys will see what I mean soon enough. All right. So down here, anyways, let's talk about what we're going to put down here. Down here is going to be our machines, our automation, right? This is where we're going to be, you know, grinding down our ores and things like that, right? So it's a very important little area. We need pretty open space, which we have, pretty flat space as well. But equally, it is our pirate storage area. So, like any good pirate, you definitely need to have a gold pile, right? You need a gold pile. Absolutely you do. Okay? Now, you know, pirates are a little bit tricky. A little bit cheap, I would say. So, uh, we might use a little bit of blaze in here. Just to kind of make it seem, oh, and maybe some air pockets, like so. Make it seem like there's more gold there, but once you get up and look, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, we got some imposters going on. But as you can see, we got a nice little gold pile there, which is good. It's just a little bit of decor for the most part. Um, the other thing, too, I've thought about a lot of different ways of decorating some of this stuff. And there's so many ways that we can go about it. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I think for right now, we're going to keep it pretty darn simple. Pretty gosh darn simple. All right. So for right now, let's keep it to the best of our abilities. Pretty straightforward. Now, we do need to get ourselves some stairs just like we have in our other builds and we definitely have to get some planks because in case you guys didn't notice we got a lot of holes we got some holes in our basement at the top portion that we need to fill in so let's go grab some planks and whatnot and get that going so that we can fill in those items okay so yeah all these little holes we definitely need to fill in we can't just have spiders creepy crawling into our basement right this just looks unfinished okay so for the most part it's going to be pretty straightforward nothing too crazy here um we're just going to cap accordingly or as i see fit in the basement here okay now that can also include things like we might put one up like that and we might uh, this guy here, this might get filled in a little bit more than what was previously done, like so. And maybe we'll go like so. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's looking real nice. I like it. I like it quite a bit. We'll throw that guy in and, you know what, we'll do it like that. Good. Just a little bit of detail. A little bit of depth, a little bit of detail. Now this one here is actually stairs already. So this guy here, we're going to bring in a level like that and then cap it accordingly. Oops, I do not have, you know what I don't have is a portable crafting table. I really need one. Um, is there one in the pack? Portable crafting pattern, crafting placeholder. Hmm. 
crafting remote. Nope. You know, it'll all get better once I get the wireless crafting grid up and running. And that'll be pretty darn soon. Crafting table slab. No, it's not looking like we have one. How many times have I had to go back to a crafting bench? In this world is a large number. So, just one of those things. Okay, let's get a few of those. And let's get a few of those. And of course, I just put them back in our system here. Oops. There we go. Awesome. All right. So what we got to do is, of course, because we're filling in this area, we have to be cognizant of the outside as well. So, you know, incorporating things and details out here is going to make quite a bit of sense too. Um, and we can do it pretty easily just by adding in some level of detail as simple as that. Uh, let's do that. That's better. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a bit. All right, here we can go like so. Just to kind of give it a little bit more flexibility and details, right? Pretty straightforward stuff, though, for the most part. So let me finish up this uh, basement area. Tree, get out of my way, tree. You're not even supposed to be a tree. You're like half a tree. Tree imposter. Let me finish up this basement area, and uh, I'll bring you guys back in when all things are said and done. All right, so I've been making some pretty darn good progress, if I do have to say so myself. Why are you blinking? There's nothing going on over here. Quit it. Quit it, I tell you. Um, but yeah, a lot of good progress. As you can see, most of the majority of the big, huge items that we normally see are gone. They're missing. Missing in action. And let's head on over to our warehouse that we have over here. Hello, Mr. Chicken. How are you? Quack, quack, quack. Yes. Wait, that's a duck. Are you a duck or a chicken? You're a chicken? My bad. My bad. All right. Anyways, back to it. As you guys saw, we, the basement is pretty much complete. We got a lot to do down here. Don't get me wrong. And we might even need a second basement. We'll see how that goes, though, all in due time. But upstairs here, as the nighttime comes, as you can see, look at this beautiful, beautifulness. Oh, boy, that's a problem, though. That's a bit of a situation. We'll clean that up here shortly. But as you can see, yes, I've been slowly but surely moving all of our resources into drawers and you might go why why mr acrylic why mr acrylic are you putting it in drawers you had these beautiful disk drives that did wonderful things why would you go and build an entire drawer structure well simply put drawers are pretty darn awesome i'm not gonna lie they are quite efficient at, in terms of storing large amounts of resources. So, they make a really good case for, you know, just being awesome. Just being awesome. So, we can do a couple of great things with storage drawers. One of them is the compacting drawer, right? Basically, what it'll do is it'll automatically compact whatever you've put into it into three different types so as you can see down here with our iron we have iron nuggets we have iron ingots and of course we also have the blocks of iron this gives us access to all three when it comes to things like recipes or crafting once we set it up with our system so there's a huge huge advantage to making sure that you store things appropriately equally the single drawers here give you ample amounts of storage you know you can throw yourself in an emerald upgrade and really just up that storage capability quite a bit which is very nice uh, that'll give us a lot of storage for ender pearls for example which we're pretty much full on just saying just saying and then, of course, in the 2x2, two two, we can put a lot of our major resources, right? Like, you know, a lot of things that we've gotten and we're going to have a lot of. You know, your mob drops, all that type of stuff. Pretty darn common overall. Now, the best thing about this is it's pretty easy to figure out and to utilize all of those resources that are in those drawers. We need those to be a storage center for our 
refined storage terminal that we've been using over here, right? This guy right here, the crafting grid. So what we're going to need for that is we're going to need, uh, let's just look it up here, refined storage, boom, 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 external storage. This is the guy that we will need. And it's not an overly complicated recipe, but I do need to do a couple of things. And because I've moved over some of my resources, it's going to be a bit more of a pain. I probably should have prepared more adequately. So let's see. See? Processor binding. That's all we got. That's all we got. And we need silicone, iron, and redstone. And then just to make it so that we have the other one, I believe we need two of those. Yes, we do. Okay. And then we also need an improved processor, which is gold, silicone, and redstone. All right, so that means we need at least three pieces of redstone. We need two pieces of iron. And what was the other thing? Oh, God. One, one of you. Just one. No, just one. Dang, double click, I tell you. Double clicks when I want it to, not when I want to. You know, you know how that is. Um, what was it? Oh, silicon. Silicon was the other thing that we needed three of. Beautiful. All right, so let's move that over to our storage system over here. And don't worry, all of this will be fixed soon enough. But we do have a little bit of work before we get there. All right, boom and boom. Excellent. These guys, of course, just like before, you cook them up nice and quick and easy in the gold furnace, which we should probably upgrade, to be honest. And, you know, I could have thrown that one in there. Mind you, why would we upgrade it? We have something better. <laughs> I forgot all about that. All right. External storage. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to make this. Uh, so we need quartz. And what's the other thing we need? Oh, man, we need so many things. I apologize. I should have done all this before. We need quartz and rich rind. We need cables. We need glowstone dust and quartz. All right. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get, we'll, we'll get this done. Don't you worry. And then the world will be our oyster, all right? Uh, we do not need that many. Okay, boom, one of you. Glowstone, see how it gives us the, the block and the dust? That's very, very helpful. Uh, cable I actually have in here, so that's good. And what was the other thing I needed? Was that it? Oh, no, the uh, quartz enriched iron. One, two, three. There we go. All right, so hopefully that's enough for our external storage block. Hello, Mr. Mumu. How's it going? How's it going, Mr. Cow? Okay. Oh, yeah. I still got to make the other things. It's fine, guys. It's fine. I know how to do this. I am a trained expert. All right. Boom. I don't have any chess. Seriously? Seriously? No chess. One, two. There we go. Okay. External storage. Get. Beautiful. All right. So, what this does is this allows us to let's remove this guy boop, like so let's remove these guys boom and boom take that guy with us uh we need to take this cable with us and we need to take this controller with us and also on top of all of that we need power simple as that so we need to take this guy with us as well we definitely need a power system to get this thing up and running all right, so this leads me to the next conundrum. Where am I going to have all this? I think, as bad as it sounds, I think I'm going to put it right beside this guy, right like so. So we'll have our crafting get grid literally right beside our drawer controller, and we'll probably have the other devices to the side. But most of the wiring and mostly everything else is going to go down here. So what we need to do first is we put our external storage on there. We're going to set this as a priority of plus one. Okay. And what that means is basically that we need that to be a positive storage at all times. Okay. That should be the first place that the system tries to send the items. Okay. Make sense? I hope so. All right, we'll set this guy up quickly. Uh, we'll do an output to the side there. It's going to take a long time to drain this out, but it'll keep the system up and running, which is good. Very, very good. 
And then equally upstairs, uh, let's grab another cable. Let's, go, let's go, grab all the cables, that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down another cable there, and we'll just pop this out, this guy. Good, good. And this will be where our disk drive goes. Boom, just like so. And we can throw in our drives, and guess what? We've already moved all of our stuff. We are good to go. And as you can see, look at that. We have 33.5K iron nuggets, right? Because what that's doing is it's taking all of this and adding them all up. You have those available to you. So, like I said, really, really super awesome when it comes to a storage system like this. Now, one of the other things, too, that you have to kind of keep in mind is, you know, something like these stone bricks. I don't have a spot for these right now, right? But I probably should, you know, so I might want to put it over there. Now, of course, they just came immediately back into our system here. But, you know, it's probably a good idea just to, to kind of situate things that you have a whole bunch of into the drawers, okay? And, you know, things like uranium, I think I saw that one in here, stuff like that. You know, our carrots, our potatoes, you know, all these little things that we need to find a home for, right? And, yeah, it's pretty easy, it's pretty straightforward, but it's one of those many little things, all right? So, anyways, what this does is it frees up our disk drives. As you can see, we were almost full before, now... We are barely full on our disk drives, which is awesome. We've expanded our storage system almost exponentially at this point in time. Really, really good. Really, really good. And then equally, if I head on over to here and I go down into my secret little hidey hole, this guy has been full the entire time. The entire time. Uh, while I was doing a lot of stuff over here. And we should be able to actually take these items and bring them back into our system so that we can use them for recipes and you name it. Now, sadly, I've looked up the recipes for Ender Pearls. There's not that many. <laughs> you know, all things considered, when you hit U on Ender Pearl, there's a few items in here, 26 to be exact, um, but not that many that are really, really, really useful. If you know what I mean. Enderium, maybe. But again, Enderium doesn't really have a use at this point in time in 115. So, yeah, the Ender Pearl's probably not the most useful block there is. But, man, did I need it early on or what, right? So, anyways, I will keep on trucking here. There's so many more things that I need to do with the storage system. Um, but I'll do those ones outside or off of camera, all right? Now, let's get into the other stuff. So, one of the things that we need to consider is our power cube down there is currently draining based on the systems that we have. Our system over here is no longer functional because we've basically disconnected it, right? So, what are we going to do? How are we going to fix this problem? And how are we going to move our machines and our power over into that basement? These are great questions. I have not figured out all these questions yet, um, but I have a feeling that one of our best bets oh. is to probably get ourselves a quantum entanglo porter, okay? And I'd need two of these guys, and they are pretty darn complex. I'm not going to lie. But before I do all of that, I definitely want to make sure that we move over these resources accordingly so that we can get the items that we need and where we need them, all right? I'm not going to be building all this stuff over here if I can avoid it, right? We're going to grab all these pipes, boom, 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 with our beautiful little wrench here, and we're going to head on over to our basement. Yes, indeed. Now, the basement here, this is where a lot of our machining is going to go on, and... I'm, I'm kind of torn. I don't know for sure exactly how I want to do the basement. I never know how I want to do my basements. You know what I mean? Like, it just never seems to work out perfectly according to plan. But what I think I'm going to do is 
I'm going to set up currently temporarily. Temporarily. Oh, my Lord. I can't speak. Basic enriching factory. There we go. Good. Uh, we need the metallurgic infuser. Excellent. Um, I'm going to temporarily set up the system right here. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make a basement below here. I thought about this a little bit off uh, camera where we can set up a big, huge mechanism system. Because for those of you that aren't aware, mechanism here is really quite intensive for space requirements, you know, as you get bigger and bigger. So, you know, it's just one of those little tiny details. Now, it does look like we're going to need some refined obsidian for a lot of this stuff. It looks like quite a bit of refined obsidian overall. So let's first and foremost start by getting ourselves a little bit of that. It's not complicated. It's very straightforward, very easy block to get. Um, but we do need to get ourselves situated. All right, boom, 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 and a whole bunch of dust. Excellent. We can throw that in there. We can throw in our obsidian dust. That's going to get us the refined obsidian dust that we require. Now in here, our osmium came with the compressor, so that's fantastic. And we can get that process started as well. That's great. That is fantastic. Now, some of this refined obsidian, we do need to save. I wanted only eight. There we go. And eight has been saved. That's great. Now, can we do this? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Enriched obsidian. That is great because we need these atomic alloys. And for that, we need reinforced alloys. Do we have those? I have four of them. Is that enough? That is definitely not enough. We need more of those. We definitely need more of them. So that is, again, diamond with the infused alloys. All right. Boom. I have 24 infused alloys. Let's pull out 16. That's two diamonds worth uh, to make them more advanced. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. Not too shabby. Pretty straightforward. Boom, boom. You and you. That'll get us more reinforced alloys. So that's great. We are using quite a bit of power right now. So do keep that in mind as you're building and constructing these things. On top of that, I'm going to do another enriched obsidian plate. And we're going to convert, convert, convert all of that into the atomic alloy. Great. There's some refined obsidian ingots. Awesome. We have progressed to a pretty nice level in terms of, you know, what we're doing here, I must say. Okay, there's our atomic alloy. Let's throw those in there and let's get ourselves the teleportation cores. Boom. We need two of them. So, just like that, we've used up most of our resources. <laughs> the other item that we need is the elite control unit, which is two reinforced alloys with an advanced control circuit. Okay, we do not have the advanced. So the advanced is two infused with a basic. One, two. Nice. Boom. So that's the that one. Boom, boom. Nice. And the ultimate. These guys are pretty darn expensive. I'm not going to lie. And boom, there's one quantum entangler porter. Now, as you can see, we have all the resources available. Um to make our next one but I think we're gonna be short a little bit on the reinforced and I think we're completely out of all the other stuff as well I think we need to go back even to straight up infused alloy I know right luckily enough it is pretty easy to do let's get all the way back it is iron I just wanted to confirm but luckily we can do this pretty quickly with enriched redstone in the metallurgic infuser with 64 iron ingots all right now ideally if you want to be an amazing mechanism person by the way i really like the fire in the background i don't know about you guys but i really like it um if you guys want to be super duper efficient things like that you probably want to make one of these metallurgic infusers for most of the different types of things okay simple as that all right so one of the greatest things about 
this quantum entangleporter is it will teleport power from anywhere right so we can actually set up a beautiful beautiful windmill farm all the way at build height all right now of course we can't quite do exactly a build height i can't remember exactly how tall these guys are are they four blocks no no hello are they I think they must be five are they five blocks tall wow i didn't know that i did not know that they were so tall so tall um let's find out let's find out yeah five blocks tall okay cool so we can build it at this general height cool awesome so what we can do is we can throw down our quantum entangle porter and you can set this to private and all that kind of stuff and you can set this to frequency acrylic power right just as an example boom that's the one that we are on beautiful from the side config set up here we can say that you know the front is an input all of this is an input basically right for everything now this is items we're not concerned about items we actually need energy right so we're gonna say all of this is input this is an energy input quantum entangler porter all right it'll transfer items it'll do a whole bunch of different things okay you can do anchor on it that means that you will have the capability of chunk loading it anywhere in the world okay and what we can do is we can just run our pipes you know we might have to upgrade them eventually here out to the side like so and we are now successfully at build height generating power and this guy is now generating 384 fe per tick that's pretty darn impressive and this guy holds 51 million in its internal buffer pretty darn sweet if you ask me I'm not gonna lie that these are going to produce so much more power all the way up here than they did ever before all right we are now producing almost four times the power of that which we were you know doing just a few minutes ago so very very good very advantageous i do highly recommend this if you don't mind things floating in the sky um with your builds um or you know like myself all the way up accordingly all right with the quantum entangler border oops there we go very good very cheap very easy free power boom as you can see all of these are outputting generating 192 outputting at 384 they're generating a lot of power not gonna lie actually they might almost be generating are they i think they're generating too much for this we might need to upgrade our pipes to be honest um but yeah anyways lots of really really cool stuff now let's free fall all the way down all the way down pop there we go one of the one of the tricks for this obviously is you need to pillar stack up there's no such thing as like an angel block or anything like that so yeah probably just use sand you know let it fall for the next five minutes no big deal here um but yeah yeah pretty straightforward get all those blocks back pretty easy pretty gosh darn easy yep that's a lot of sand to get up there just just to let you guys know it's it's a long ways it's a long long ways there we go we finally made it we finally got all of our blocks back three stacks beautiful beautiful all right so there we go we are now generating a ton of power all the way up in the sky universe that is great this is fantastic news but now we need to actually supply that power down here to our energy cell right like so so we have an input on the right hand side i'm going to put our quantum entangle porter right beside it and we are going to say acrylic power is what we are setting it to beautiful it is now linked with the one up top as you can see the power buffer is going up just as if we were all the way upstairs and of course we got to go to the side input and we'll say we're going to eject to the side right pretty straightforward and we're going to auto eject we're going to make sure that we are keeping this guy 
nice and juicy also we're going to make sure that the inputs on the right and as you can see our buffer is completely full this is pretty good this is pretty darn nice we have more or less unlimited power and eh, we'll, we'll get there eventually don't worry we'll use it all up but as you can see we've made a huge improvement over our system that we had before better power generation and more compact more setup area anyways we are at wrapping up point absolutely i'm gonna probably dig out the basement i'm going to set up other things as you can see you can barely even see it that's okay with me um i got a lot of cleaning up to do over here as well there's still more items like our sawmill and things like that that we need to basically move over to the other place and uh yeah that's gonna be it for me thank you all so much for being a part of this awesome awesome world and playthrough i really do appreciate it leave a like comment down below all that fun stuff and i'll catch you next time bye bye for now see ya